Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of the awesome graphic design of the day. I'm Steve Looney from graphicdesignertips.com and I took a little trip upstate this weekend to White Plains and um, you know, it's the fact that, like I say all the time, wherever you go, there's graphic design everywhere. And uh, we went to this place called Anthony's Coal Fired Pizza and uh, not only do I love the brand, the way that they design their logo, but the uh, these were like the, you know, the little like drink, drink, drink things that are like this that hang on every table. And obviously, you know, I had to take them because they, they're, they're so good for you guys to learn from. But uh, next time I go up there, I will return them because I'm a man of, uh, of, you know, like that. But uh, so anyway, but there's some really good design in here I want to, uh, you know, definitely go into. Um, they did little things on each of them. And I'm telling you, definitely they had a really good graphic designer put this stuff together. So let's jump into it. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so this piece has a ton of graphic design going on. Uh, I'm gonna bring up as much stuff as I can. You know, I've been studying this a little bit, but if there's anything I miss, you know, definitely write in the comments below if there's anything that you notice that I did not. But I wanna start with their logo, their brand, Anthony's Coal Fired Pizza. The coolest thing about that is they were able to incorporate that A as it was a coal fire grill. I don't know if it's different than brick oven, but I know it's that kind of looks like a brick oven to me. The fact that in the center they were able to put flames in there which is also the color of their uh you know color palette pretty cool idea uh they had this overlay this is basically a logo of its own what they did right here um this you know it follows right here the colors the black the red and the white and in the background is you know a picture of whatever kind of pizza that is but if you see they custom built this beer bottle you know at first you know looking at it you know I thought this was like a real beer, but if you really look at it, have you ever heard of a beer called Half Price Mondays and Tuesdays? No. So this is like, I would say, a vectorized image, um, you know, from the scan and obviously from the print. I'm looking at it. It definitely looks vectorized. It's got all these little details in it. They got the shadows going on dark around the outside. You know, it's going into yellows and golds in here. It looks like a real beer. And, uh, you know, they also separated it with this white around. If you can see the whites going on right here. So, you know, it's giving it dimension. It's pulling it out from that picture in the back. So basically, you got three layers. You got this back area, you got the bottle, and then you got this banner that goes right on top of that. Uh, oops, let me fix that. All right, so talking about the layers of the piece, we also have the fact that, you know, we got the suds, the bubbles, uh, you know, the, the basically the beer foam, you know, because some things just go well together or go, go together. That's their tag up here. Basically saying that beer and pizza, and I totally agree. But, um, you know, and I love pizza. I actually could eat pizza every day of my entire life, and I'm so active, I feel like I would never get a belly doing that so i hope at least you know I'm, I'm gonna try that that's gonna be my next web series you know following me around while i eat pizza for like 30 days straight so um coming down here the second level the, the so you get the top layer of the bubbles and below it we, you know it's conjuring up images in our mind and these are all beers that they carry so it was kind of cool because you know it's you know these are a bunch of logos of their own and uh so i like that of course they have this red line going through the whole piece. It also creates dimension when the bottle goes through it. And it comes down here and it ends where the, you know, the, uh, the foam is. And so that's it with that side. You know, I don't really see anything else, but you know, definitely let me know in the end. Uh, this is the back and now it's saying get over the hump. And basically it's, uh, it's, I like the texture in the background. The thing actually I like about this is picture being at the table in a restaurant and you're flipping this thing around. You're looking at one side, you're looking at the other. There's so much contrast between these pieces. Yes, it uses a lot of the same colors because that's their, their brand. That's the look and feel, darker reds and stuff like that. But it looks like a totally different side. So it's so there's so much you know contrast between them that you can tell what... Like, you're not getting lost. Which special was on which side? You know which special is on which side. Pretty cool image right here. We got this martini with the uh, meatball in it. I really don't know if that's like a joke or not, but... Uh, I don't know, maybe that's kind of strange. But anyway, they made this into a logo right here, meatballs and martinis. And the fact the ampersand, you know, it's, you see how it kind of balances in here? It pushes this M over, and they did a gradient in here, which I love gradients, so A-plus job on that. Down here, another little almost like in a logo type of sense, we got the $5 martinis all night, and they did this banner right here, this little block to kind of just make this boxy right here. If you're looking down the side, everything is pretty much flush right down the whole entire piece. This is oh, nudged over a little bit, but that's okay. 
I'll forgive him for that. And also this line back here, it kind of breaks things up. I mean, it's this. They may have had no reason for doing it, or just to add some character to it. But you know, I respond well when I see stuff like that. I really enjoy it. I do a lot of that stuff in my own work. But I guess you know, aside from that, we have some kind of a. Uh, a gradient in here also they have a little shadow that pops it off the background same deal with this there's a shadow popping off the background and of course the image I believe that this image right here the martini glass was separate from the background and what I mean by that is I mean that this image was taken and that it was multiplied it was there was some transparency put on it and it was multiplied to basically fit on top of this created in Photoshop background so I give this piece an A plus, and uh, it got my attention even before I started drinking that night. And uh, then when I started drinking, I was like, "Whoa, I gotta take this home and show everybody." So that's it on this piece. All right, so that's it for another edition of the awesome graphic design of the day. This is my little kitten Emma over here. If you think she's cute, definitely hit the subscribe button, and uh, you'll see more of her in the upcoming future episodes. Uh, she's hitting that button right now, so you just got to click it just like her. Uh, but no, more serious is uh, I come out with these every couple days, and it's really to conjure up in your mind, you know, what you can do with graphic design. And hopefully, you're getting little things that you can implement in projects that you have right now or projects that you're about to get. So, like I said, graphic design is everywhere. When you wake up tomorrow morning and you walk throughout your day, I want you to keep your eyes open for graphic design. I mean, keep it honestly, keep a tally of, of how many things you pass that are, are graphic design related. So, um, and in the end, and, you know, this stuff's just going to be ingrained in your mind. And when you're on your computer designing on your canvas, it's just going to be like second language to you. So that's it, everybody. I will uh, talk to you soon. I'll be back in a few days for another one of the awesome graphic designs of the day. All right. Peace.